ancient Greece, the philosopher Plato described a set of three-dimensional shapes that have since come to bear his name, the Platonic solids. Let's start with their two-dimensional counterparts and build their three-dimensional version. Look at this equilateral triangle. It is a regular polygon, where all sides and angle measures are congruent. This two-dimensional net, when folded this way, becomes the three-dimensional solid called a tetrahedron, which is one of the platonic solids. Because of the underlying regular polygon, the tetrahedron has congruent edges, vertices, and angles. Now, look at this square, which is a regular quadrilateral. We use that square to construct a two-dimensional net. We fold this net to construct a cube, which is another platonic solid, also referred to as a hexahedron. The hex in hexahedron refers to six, which is the number of sides in a cube. Like the tetrahedron, the edges, vertices, and angles of the cube are congruent to each other. The other platonic solids include the eight-faced octahedron, the twelve-faced dodecahedron, and the twenty-faced icosahedron. With all these figures, the underlying regular polygon shape ensures congruent edges, angles, and vertices. Beyond the platonic solids are many different three-dimensional shapes. In this program, you will explore the properties of three-dimensional figures. Understanding the properties of these figures helps us understand certain natural and man-made structures that share these properties. In particular, this program will cover the following key concepts the properties of square and rectangular pyramids, the properties of cylinders, the properties of rectangular prisms, 